just making noise. It's a bit of a vlog. It's a bit of a look. I'm on, I'm doing my cow. Um, I'm actually on the rib section at the other end. I have done four rows. I've got to do ten and then bind off the instructions say. Um, not cast off. I don't know if I'm going to do them all sitting down here or if I throw it back and put it in the car, but I need to bring it into the house to fix it. So, yeah. Um, I thought I would get some thoughts down. Oh, I meant to get my wool bits from Forbidden Fibre and show you those last two. Um, I might go do that and start again. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll go do that. All right, hi. Oh, slip the stitch. It's a good start. What am I doing? Um, I actually found that I've got three forbidden fibers to show you. So, oh, here, I'll put this down again, <laughs> and then I'll show you those. Um, it will all be in a floss tube. It's all going to be out of whack from a video. Um, production dates and all that kind of thing but I'll get a floss tube done Oops, showing all of my December flossy finds yarn finds and all of that kind of thing that's, that's, that's the plan anyway um, so yeah let me show you some pretty wools let's see what we got <clears throat> Just wrap it up. Stop in the process. Okay. So we've got 10, 11, and 12. 10 is um, Morag? Is it Morag? The big spider. Anyway, Hagrid spider. Ooh. Nothing extra in that one. Okay. Ooh. Why couldn't it be? <laughs> why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Hagrid tells Harry and Ron to follow the spiders into the forbidden forest. Oh, sorry, Aragog. God. Yes. Um, where Harry then goes like, <laughs> where he's on the truth serum, or the lucky, yeah, the liquid luck. I'll get there eventually. Um, so, he goes in to get the answers from Aragog about his arrest, not knowing he would instruct his family to eat them. Ron's intense fear of spiders, something, something I identify with, especially if they're that big. I don't like spiders if they're that big. Um, turns to comedy. Turns out he was right. They should have followed the butterflies. Oh, yeah, okay. Ugh, bad pun. Good thing the Fort Anglia was there to save them from being dinner so they could save the school. So... The spider. Nice bit of blood. Red. And blues. And there's a little bit of yellow in there as well. That's cool. Um, if you are interested at all in Harry Potter, you can actually uh, watch the videos of actors the actors from the movies reading each chapter Har um, Harry uh, Daniel Radcliffe does chapter one and then it goes on and different actors do different chapters some of them are better than others when they do the voices or not um, yeah the, take it or leave it it's a bit of fun though um, having the actors reading the chapters I, th I enjoyed it alright so that's there's something in this one this is Tom Riddle. So, something to do with Slytherin, perhaps. And I'm going to lose... Oh, I didn't lose the outer sleeve. Gosh, it's heavy, whatever the extra is. Okay. So, I'll show you the sneak peek of that. Oh, my goodness! Oh, wow! <laughs> that is so... So cool. It's a tooth. I don't 
don't know what kind of tooth that is. Dog, maybe? Dog or cat? Like it's a real tooth. But this is heavy. So I'm going to focus. It's going to be a bit of a deal, actually. But it kind of has the lightning strike through the center. Um, so it's like a phone thingy. It's very, very heavy. Anyway. All right. Um, oh, sorry. It's supposed to be the book. It's Tom Riddle's diary. So I'm a deal. Yeah. Heir of Slytherin. Only the heir of Slytherin can open the Chamber of Secrets and control the basilisk inside. We find out that Tom Riddle, who later becomes, becomes Lord Voldemort, is the heir who opens the chamber and releases the basilisk by way of the diary and Ginny Weasley. So, yes, the diary and the basilisk. Sorry. Okay. So, that's awesome. I don't know what I'm going to put it on. Maybe keyring. It's very, very heavy. Um, maybe too heavy for stitches. And I think too heavy for the phone. It's green. With a little bit of pink and grey and brown. All right. So, the air of Slytherin. I love the extras. I have really, really, really enjoyed opening this. Okay, I could have opened it a bit quicker, being that it's now the 8th of January and it should have finished on the 6th. On the Feast of the Epiphany or the king's day or whatever you want to call it or i think they call it women's christmas as well Ooh, feels like there might be something in this so number 12 it is dobby um, yeah but really really enjoying this oh uh, and uh spoiler black needle society hashtag black needle society um black needle society have released hogwarts number two if you're interested follow my links uh, you can use my discount code as well. Oh, actually, I forgot to use my discount code. Oops. Okay. My bad. I might ask them to give me a refund. Silly me. All right. Dobby is free. And we get a little Dobby enamel pen. Dobby enamel pin. Pin, 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 pin. Not a, a Kiwi pen. Um, Dobby is a male house elf who served with the Malfoy family dark wizards who treat the dark wizards who treat him cruelly. After defeating the basilisk, Carrie maneuvers so it, it so Lucius hands Dobby a sock, freeing him from servitude. Later, Dobby becomes important to the fight against Voldemort. Now, one thing that the books did that the movies didn't was delve into the whole world of slavery and house elves and a lot more below um, what do they call it below level Sophie I need you to stop it's too noisy no no I need you to stop can you pick up the paper please anyway there's a lot of that whole kind of releasing the elves and freeing them and and that in the book that didn't make it into the movies because you know Freeing people from slavery. It's, it's not necessarily a popular choice. Um, blues, greys and creams. Sophie, I'm telling you now. Either you stop or you go inside. Now, can you pick up the piece of paper, please? No, this this one from my wool, the cover. Can you get the paste? Can you get the paper from there? The paper on the floor. Yeah, the tissue paper. Thank you. Yes, can I have it, please? No, you can't throw it. It's too light. She's coming to me. Be careful. That's got wheels. Can you give it to me, please? The breeze is going away from me. Oh, kids. Thank you. Dear. All right, so I'll try and do this and show you all of them. If I, if I can. If, it, if it's not going to work, I'll take a picture or something and maybe insert it. Um, so, yeah. 
so let me just fill you in on I suppose why I wanted to vlog today is Friday right today is changeover day yesterday in the lead up to changeover day both Marcus and I our stress levels escalate um, because now we start thinking you know is the kid going to be delivered back to us and that's two days out of the seven that we're going is the mother going to do the right thing is the mother going to give us the kid back or is she going to fuck us around yet again so that's where my head's been at he voiced it yesterday I tried not to but the parents called in after we bumped into them at the supermarket so we ended up saying it to them and yeah it, it affects us both and then it'll affect Sophie because she won't have Carmen here Okay, so, number 12, Hi. Dobby is free, is the one that you just saw. And then number 11 is the green with the Slytherin. Number 10 is the blood for the spiders. Um... I've got the numbers hidden. Number nine is the yellow duck. Why is the rubber duck so important? Well, what is the meaning behind the rubber duck? Okay, so uh, six, eight, nine, eight is the ghosts in the library. So it's a little bit yellow, grey, green. Uh, seven is the turquoise for Danglia. You need to stop, Sophie. You're being really, really rude, and I'm jack of it. Six is the ghost, the deathly ball, and it's kind of a bluey black monotone. Five is green, Slytherin. Two. Four is fox which was the yellow and reds. Three was Hermione. And I'm going to pull it out of the paper. And it is kind of greenish tones. She's destroying all our Christmas ornaments. Um, two was... Dillbrain Gilderoy Lockhart. There's a typo on the card. But that's okay. I was going to say, I did get a card. It is in there. It's tucked in. Um, it's blues and greens. And one was Moaning Myrtle. And it was grey. And I don't think I kept the outer on that one unless it's got buried on it no it's, it's gone so <coughs> I will number these so um yeah lots and lots of fun I really yeah as I said I really really enjoyed it get the air out of these bags so I can fit them back in the box I have a project bag and I have my needles now um I have seen some of Rachel's knitting and it looks amazing, absolutely amazing. So I need to get these back in in reverse order because I'm going to need one first. So let me see if I can do this. <laughs> Go to the bottom of the pile, give or take. So, um, yeah, I, I hate living like this with the changeover. Um, you should be able to rely on the other parent doing what's right, and we can't. Summer holidays, it's potluck. At least when she's in school, we can go and check in her in school and, and that kind of thing, which is what we ended up doing the last time she kidnapped her. But, you know, parents get away with that. Um, the court system here is a joke. In fact, if anything, they make it harder for the right parent to do the right thing. Anyway. Um, okay. Seven 
bottom. Ah, that'll kind of do. See, I've got a project bag similar to this one that I put it all in for handy to put it in the car. I've got one of the um, clear sleeves and one of these that I put on the dash and it grips it a little bit so that it doesn't go flying. If Marcus hits the brakes, it also tucks under my dragon that's on the dashboard that you might have seen it on occasion. Um, so yeah, that's uh, here, my knitting project. I have booked in to get new glasses. Jeez. These glasses are pissing me off. I can't read shit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, my eyes have changed. I'm probably a year or two out of date. I'm probably a year out of date, actually. I'm usually pretty good with keeping up to date with my glasses. So the app... Sorry, the store now is not doing so much stand around and pick your glasses off the shelf kind of thing. They want you to pick them virtually. So you can take a photo and then you can try on the glasses. Uh, so I tried it yesterday. It wasn't a good photo for a start. So I'll try it again with a different um, angle because I was lying in the bed. It was just like, oh, what? You know, I didn't know what it was about. So... I've got to pick some glasses. I may end up even going with the same kind of glasses that I've got. They still have them. Boring, I know, but the actual size of the lens is pretty good. Um, and then I'll get new sunnies because my sunnies are out of date. And I'm old now, so I need to get the multifocals. Um, and they charge you more and more for all the extras. So I get the extra thin and the blahs and the blahs and the blahs and the, yeah health insurance and it covers so much it's like yay but i'm used to 50 20 20 vision so i was gonna say 50 50 vision what I'm used to 20 20 vision so there's that and i hate when i don't have it and i was standing in um <clears throat> i think it was the doctor's surgery and i was looking at the tv screen going i can't read that i can't read that I can't read number plates, I can't read street signs, you know, um, when we're out in the car. Although it's a bit easier because I wear my sunnies in the car and for some reason it seems to be a little bit easier. But I um, can't read anything in the car now with my sunnies. <laughs> I'm kind of like at the end of my arm, I feel old, you know. Um, but I don't know if I should get dual lenses for driving or just stick with um short distance uh, long sorry short sighted vision in the driving because i don't need to be reading anything small or i can just do that and read under my glasses or something that's what i have been doing i don't know get some advice uh so yeah that's booked in next week um i went to the doctor this morning he took a whole lot of bloods on wednesday or ordered them and I got them done on Wednesday my cholesterol is down I can come off my cholesterol tablets uh, my blood pressure is still a little bit meh so we're gonna stay on those um, and he told me be proud I'm kind of thinking I don't know what I've done that's any different um, I don't know if, like my cholesterol has never been as low as it is I was terrified it was gonna be higher or as high so I don't know the statins might make the difference for me we'll see reassess in three months um give or take so i don't know are we kind of through the the worst of it i took out health insurance at forest hospital cover um at the beginning of the week to coincide with pay um so that's all organized now as well so that might mean surgeries in the future for marcus will fix his nose um we'll get him mris see what's going on see what the surgeon recommends if he recommends he might not he says some things we just can't fix and that's fine but at least we'll get a proper assessment with newer technology and he wants to come off his pain meds and if surgery is going to do that for him then that would be great um i may need further back surgery with squash discs but if they're not causing me pain then i won't so 
go bide my time on that. As I said, my knees will probably give out before my back does. Um, the physio doesn't want to see me. I saw her yesterday. Physio doesn't want to see me until I'm six weeks post-op. So made an appointment to see her, I think, in the first week in Feb. And then we really start ramping up the exercises and activities. So that's good. Um, the tenderness that I'm feeling on the scar site. Sewers out there. You remember doing invisible seams and how you sew... If you've ever been to the teddy bear shop, it's how they sew up the backs of the teddy bears when you fill them with stuffing and you kiss the heart and make the stupid poem kind of thing and all of that kind of... Anyway, you, you pull the stitches so that they pull it in from the inside and it doesn't leave the stitches on the outside they've got to cut off like you might if you cut yourself and anyway so the stitching that he's done is that invisible stitching but it ends up leaving ripples under the skin and the stitches haven't dissolved because it takes weeks for the stitches to actually dissolve if they're internal um, so I've got to rub that just to desensitize the scar area so there's that um, so that's good that it's it's all good it's all going well um, I don't get those keloid scars um, apparently that's a person thing I've never had keloid scars I just I've got a scar that used to go purple on my knee when I was a kid I used to be very embarrassed about showing my knees because um, I fell when I was about seven or eight cut my knee open and as a teenager then if I ever wore short skirts in the winter time or whatever I don't know what I was wearing. Maybe it was just holding my trousers. Because, um, you know, that was the thing. Ripped jeans. Not like these days with the heart. It's like, what's the point wearing what you're wearing? But anyway. Um, this scar actually used to go purple. Um, now it's kind of like faded. And, you know, it's it's a dim distant past. But it made me very, very self-conscious flashing my legs. Um, but yeah, I don't get the keloid scar. I have a friend who does. Um, and yeah, that, that's a weird, weird way that the body heals with those. It, they, they end up like rope on the outside. Very strange. Um, yeah, so I'm just here, sitting on the deck, enjoying the sunshine. Um, can you stupid motorbike down the road? But the birds twittering. Um, your bird's going absolutely crazy. That's a forest raven that you can hear. The call, call, call. We don't have crows. Um, we have forest ravens or we have currawongs. The currawongs have white tips on their wings and tail. Uh, did have um, little, I think they're honey eaters possibly I'll have to look them up had a little red kind of pole on its head um, but there was two of them flittering around we've got blackbirds in the back and in the front um, but I'm not hearing them at the moment they're noisy they actually have a call they've learned how to call um, and they had a nest in the hedge that has just fledged so that's kind of cool um, but it's just, it's a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be 22 degrees, I think, today. Um, it's just blue sky. Oh, we've got seagulls riding the thermals. You won't be able to see on camera. Um, I think they're seagulls. Oh, I'm just double checking. They're literally just soaring. We've actually got a tip. Um, do you call them tips? Um dumps we used to call them the dump in Ireland um but it's the tip up the hill and they actually fly up the valley and at three o'clock in the afternoon they fly down the valley <laughs> bizarre um but you can actually kind of you know tell the time almost by the seagulls going up and down the valley um but these guys I don't think they're pelicans they could be pelicans I, don't, I wish I had binoculars uh, they have got large black bits on their wings and I have watched pelicans in Ireland. No, sorry, not in Ireland. I've watched pelicans down 
at a beach down near where I lived um, for a short time and I just watched it climb the thermal all the way up. It was incredible. Because um, they just wings out like eagles and they just go up and up and up and up and up. And it's amazing because, I mean, I'm looking at the sky and I'm thinking, you know, there's nothing there. It's just straight out. It's blue. But yet the birds can see, feel, I don't know. They can see in 3D the thermals going on um, with all the different things happening. It's um, it's an amazing phenomenon. I've only flown small planes a couple of times and um, yeah, <laughs> could do it with my sonnies. They're in the car. Um, it's another good thing about having two for the price of one kind of sunglasses or glasses so you can get the second pair kind of free. <sighs> Not really. <laughs> it's nothing really free. But um, I can then use my current pair in the house for this kind of sitting because I'm all kinds of glary and I can't deal with the glare whatsoever. Um, I might even have to get my hat. Yeah, my hat would help. I've got Nakubra, which is the Aussie version of a cowboy hat. Um, love my Nakubra. It's suede and it collapses so it can be packed, flat packed, and I have taken it everywhere with me. I absolutely adore my Nakubra. I don't see them now. They've gone too high. We've got butterflies, cabbage whites flying around as well. Weeds everywhere. Some of the weeds are pretty, some of them are not so pretty. And we've got this weird ass, I don't know what, I keep looking it up and then forgetting what it is. It's kind of like a Roma tomato, but it's not. And I think the birds get to it as soon as the fruit ripens, they swoop down and devour it or the possums come in, I don't know. Um, but all I ever see is green fruit normally. There's a butterfly coming. And we've got Bogan Villa, which is pink. Um, and then we've got a tree that the girls used to climb in. Carmen less now, because she's got Sophie tagging behind and Sophie's not allowed in the tree. Um, our jasmine is falling over itself. And then there's the washing line, the washing tree. Um, yeah. And then I've got this gorgeous view of our next door neighbour's roof. It's a tile roof, but it blocks the um, the suburban sprawl. And the only unfortunate thing about the view, other than that, is that his trees have grown too high and I can't see the pretty water. Um, and Marcus is too old, sore and broken. We could pay for it to be done, but it, he's old, sore and broken. Um, to send him up the trees to chop the tops off. That would be cool. He had done it before. Um, but yeah, time moves on. They're catching up with the big tree that didn't get chopped. And it's been five years of growth since they were down low, since I moved in. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I should get back on my knitting, shouldn't I? Close that. <coughs> and, um, Knit. See if I can get this finished. Ooh. At least I fixed it from my complete stuff up, where I knitted it inside out. That was a bad move. Um, have really, really enjoyed doing this knit, and oh god, um, will really, really enjoy doing the forbidden fiber. Um, if you're interested in Advent boxes, now is really the time to get saving because you need to be kind of ready to pounce. Apparently, according to Heike, I think she bought one in May or June. Um, so yeah, it's the kind of thing that is planned in advance. They make them to order. Um, so they advertise them May, June, that's when I'm going to be looking for them again. And um, then they plan it and they ship it to you so that you get it in plenty of time for Christmas. And I would love to be a part of that kind of thing because um, the small projects that use the speciality wool, like I've got here, um, the Forbidden Fibre wool, 
Um, they have been perfect projects for me, for the car, for the road trips. Um, they keep me distracted um, with the back, keeps my hands busy. I feel like I'm doing something. I'm not on the phone. Um, you know, uh, I'm getting a something knitted. I'm learning because these stitches that they give you are not normal stitches. I mean, they are, but you know, you're doing a thing with them. Like this one is, um, the rib is knit to behind and purl to. And I have, I think, only knit two in the front, like knit in the front and purled behind. Uh, you, you, sorry, I've knit in the front and purled in the front. I don't know how it makes it different. I'm not that knowledgeable. I have ripped stitches out. So if I've um, dropped a stitch, I've ended up going back and um, actually ripping down three or four I think I ended up going back down ten on one occasion to fix a whole row of stitches that I completely stuffed up so again that ripping out process and knowing what way the stitches lie all of that I'm just gaining knowledge um, and loving the challenge um, it's been really really good and while it feels like it's a backward step to frog your work which it kind of is but um, I've learned in the process um, you know, getting the stitches on and then lining them up correctly and, whoa, what, 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 I've done something wrong there. I have. Um, so, yeah, just knowing a knit stitch goes on a certain way onto the needle and I can recreate it now. You know, I'm not, look, I'm certainly not an expert and I should have ripped back my um, rib when I started, but I kind of I thought uh, I'll leave it now. It's done. Um, and there is a section down at the other end that's wrong as a result. It's off sent like it's off the twos kind of thing and then it gets back onto it so it's consistent in that section but it's off if that makes sense um but who's really going to look at it and it's look some of these i don't know if i've got them perfectly right um i now i do see screw ups but that could be because it's starting in the next color but look i mean how amazing is this color now this is inside out okay lace work brand new to me the first time I did my lace oh my god I did such a bad job this one it's better but I think it's wrong still I don't quite know where I've gone wrong uh, but I have um, love this section just here where my nail is sticking through that's basically um, stitched to and carry two over um, and you end up with this gorgeous pattern um of holes um where is it? this this line here um this one here is nice as well you stitch two and you slip slip over the two um this one was a, the brown line that was a slanted um kind of not a cable but a slanted kind of thing the orange here has occasional holes through it. Again, they're not quite right, but they're consistent with itself. Um, this this one here has a bit of a twist in it, and then the stripes. But the colours as well just add to it. Um, this one, I think, is a... Oh, that's the slip. And then that one's like a bobble kind of... It's, it's not a knit in a rib, it kind of alternates the knit rib um, stitches so you end up with just a texture rather than a stockingette or other. Uh, so yeah, it's all kinds of cool. Potentially as a cowl it's a bit long um, in reality. It could, could have been maybe half the length, um, but I have used it for my in-car project it's not big or anything like that and you know for me it's worked it's not a beanie a beanie would be boring for me i think um 
counting rib and making sure it's correct. Okay, I'm a bit further on than I was, but um, it's hard work making sure it's right. And I was screwing it up with Sophie's beanie. I did start a beanie with Sophie, but it's not a very soft wool. I think it's even an acrylic. It's store bought. Yeah, it didn't go anywhere. So that's stalled. Um, so yeah, I'll get the shawl done. I do like wearing um, cardigans, shrugs, shawls. So yeah, that is absolutely something I would knit and do more often. Um, 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 who was it? Mothy and the Squid on Instagram. I'm sure they've got Facebook and um, Etsy or whatever. Mothy and the Squid um, have some stunning colorways at the moment as well on their wool. I think she's in the UK. And um, there was something in particular. Oh yeah, it was a rainbow with black splodges on it. And she called it, what was it? Equitably... Equ equality suppression or something. Or equality not suppression. Because she was getting some bitchy comments back in 2020 that was damning some inclusion or some Christmas thing, holiday thing, and somebody was complaining, saying, how dare you? But she said that customer, well, they didn't actually become a customer and buy even the secular stuff that she had done. So they were just a troll, basically. So she um, came up with this colorway and it's gorgeous. Like it's full rainbow and then you've got the black splodges through it. So it looks incredible, but it's only a sock weight. So it's quite light. So I don't know how that would work for her. shawl. I mean, it would be light, but um, yeah, no. Knit is something that I buy a lot of. Unfortunately, you cannot buy real knit for the value that it is so the wool that you buy and then the work that you put in to do it it doesn't equate money wise and if you go to a woolen mill there you know you're you're paying for the wool and you're paying for the labor um yeah the the wool that they do in high street stores let's call them target whatever walmart you know these kind of cardigans just it's, you know it's just a shitty cardigan um, it's got that textured, you know, knit, knit, knit pearl, and then the next row is pearl knit, so it's offset. Um, I could not buy the f the um, the wool to make something this size. Um, yeah, in any store, it's just too expensive. And then knit lasts forever. Um, I've still got 20 year old kids cardigan. I actually showed it to somebody, one of my subscribers, I think, um, messaged me on Instagram and I sent her a picture. Um, sorry, can't think of the name now. Um, I think they were looking for, yeah, what have I done? No, I'm screwing this up now. I'm not thinking. I've got my count off. Oh, yes, I think I dropped a stitch, and this is where I need to just watch the stitches. Um, shoot those birds. Oh my god, it sounds like a canary. repeat oh, done it wasn't stitched very weird right now am I yep I don't know I didn't Pull it through correctly. If it wasn't for the sound of humans, it'd be amazing.
like, you know, the lawnmower or whatever it is I can hear in the distance. There's some machinery kind of hum as well. I kind of miss um, doing, I was going to say, the Wicklow Way walks with Dad. Um, it wasn't all the Wicklow Way, but we did a lot of Wicklow Way walks. Um, did a lot of hill walking just in general. Um, he had, oh, go away. Um, did a lot of um, walking across the woods from his house. Um, we'd go there for uh, dinner and go for a walk around the hill. Um, so um, it was the flat through the car park, or a slight rise through the car park, and then up through the pines, up to the rocky top, and then back down, like the pine trail, which was four-wheel drive wide, like a fire trail, I suppose. Not that the wood was big enough for any of that kind of crap. It was tiny. You know, but it would have been, I don't know, ten, and, ten hectares, something like that, maybe, on the top of the hill. Um, Irish woods that I used to walk in, not so much broadleaf trees, they were deciduous, sorry, they were evergreen pine trees, um, you know, they had even the pine forest, which coincidentally was a pine forest, and um, that was very much a Narnia wood, if you remember The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, and you've got the pine trees in the snow, it was that kind of thing, um, with the pine needles underfoot, and, um, and that, that's, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Thing, hinky with that stitch. I should just use my hook, it would be so much easier. And then I could talk at the same time. Oh, there we go, I think. Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let you go. My bum is getting numb. Um, it's not as comfy as the car. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'll get to the end of the row and um, put it away. So that is five. So five more to go. Oops. Um, it's 20 past 11, so I've been stitching for two hours. I've also been talking, so I'm a bit slower. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to bring this and the other project ready to go um, in the car, because this will finish on the drive, I reckon, on the way up. So, yeah. Ah, itchy. My hair is flying around my nose now. All right. Um, oh, it was very nice chatting with you. Um, yes, I'm going to, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go inside. It's such a nice day. It's such a nice temperature. The breeze is minimal. Um, it's a pleasure to sit out. If only we had comfier seats. That's the next savings that we want to do is get a good, nice outdoor set of furniture. Um, and the recliners inside. We've got lots of things that we want to save for just to kind of have some house improvements and while right now I'm kind of saying I really want the recliner in three weeks time I won't need the recliner to recline in the lounge um, so there's no point going out and spending two grand in a drop okay yes it'd be nice to have in the future but you know we don't have to rush out and buy it and then find that you know we don't actually need it in a few months time um, <clears throat> but it takes the pressure off us to be able to um, put the money where it needs to go rather than where we, you know, would like it to go. We'll get there eventually. Um, and we can shop a bit more discerningly if we have saved. Marcus is so good at saving. Um, he puts me to shame. I'm good at paying the bills, but not so good at saving. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I just set up everything automatically and then go, okay, you have no money until, <laughs> you know, and make sure that all the bills are out. And then it's kind of like, okay, you have this much left over. And then it's like, blow it and then have nothing for two weeks. That's me. I hate it. I have no discipline. Yes, he's been very good from that point of view. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go um, and let you just... I don't know. Do your thing. Wolfpack is about to go live. And... Um, what else? Um, 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 my phone battery is about to die. As it does. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Wolfpack is about to go live and then Mrs. Coffee is tomorrow. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, you know. It's another day. Alright, this is going to take ages to export as well. So... My phone is going to be busy, so I might as well do that, get my knitting done while it's doing that, and um, do something else. All right. Thank you for joining me. Um, oh, ow, I need a cushion. Um, if I narrow down my glasses, I'll maybe put some choices up online. Um, but I need to ask Marcus. I always need a second pair of eyes with me. But it's handy having that virtual thing where you take the photo and you, you you take your photo, you move your head left and right, and then it will put the glasses on your face. Uh, it's, just, it's quite a nifty little feature. Um, so I'm quite impressed by that. So yeah, in two and a bit weeks, because it takes they get the make up on the mainland. Um, in two and a bit weeks, I might have some new glasses, or I might have the same glasses with new lenses. We'll see. All right. Bye for now. Um, See you around on another video.